Marino Ground, good evening. Medevac 273, Sierra Mike, IFR to Salt Lake City, we have Echo. Medevac 273, Sierra Mike, Green Clearance Delivery Code to Salt Lake City Airport, Zephyr, Zephyr 7 Departure, Blackjack Transition, Dennis Filed. Climb via SID, Squawk 3211. Okay, clear to Salt Lake City via the Zephyr 7, Blackjack Transition, uh, via the SID, 3211 for Medevac, 30 Mike. Medevac, 30 Mike, read back, correct. And Reno Grad, Medevac, 2730 Mike is ready to taxi from Atlanta, course Echo. Medevac, 2730 Mike, Reno Ground, runway 17 left, taxi via Charlie. Okay, one seven left via Charlie for Medevac, three zero Mike. Medevac, three zero Mike, uh, do you need help finding the exit? Yeah, this could be the left of me here, right? Affirmative, it's left of you about three plane lengths. You can see the break in the blue lights. Got it there, thank you so much. Medevac, three zero Mike, use caution as you go. Hasn't been in a while. Copy. Right turn now, you're past the center line of the taxiway. I, I think you've gone too far at this point. Medevac 3 Sierra Mike, uh, I think you've passed the center line of the taxiway. You'd have to make a hard right turn to get on this Charlie. Okay, Roger that. We'll, uh, we're going we're gonna to take a left here and then come back around. Roger. Medivac 273 Sierra Mike, Reno Tower, advise ready. Yeah, we're ready to roll. Medivac 3 Sierra Mike. Medevac 3 Sierra Mike, wind 330 at 5, runway 17 left, cleared for takeoff. 17 left, cleared for takeoff, Medevac 3 Sierra Mike. Medevac 3 Sierra Mike, contact NorCal Departure. See you later. Departure, we'll see you later. Thanks for your help. 3 Sierra Mike. NorCal Departure, good evening. Medevac 273 Sierra Mike is with you. Climbing via the SID. Medevac 273 Sierra Mike, NorCal Departure, Red Account, okay? Medevac 273 Sierra Mike, coming to Oakland Center, 128.8. All right, 28.8 for 3 Sierra Mike, good night. The airplane follows the Zephyr 7 departure precisely and climbs about 1500 feet per minute with a ground speed of approximately 125 knots. The last transmission by the pilot is made about 8 minutes into the flight just before turning at the waypoint wit.
Open center, good evening. Medevac 273, Sierra Mike 15.4, climbing data set. Better back, 273 Sierra Mike, Oakland Center, good evening. Comment maintained, level 250. And use caution, there's been a light to moderate chop and also some moderate turbulence reported pretty much all afternoon, uh, really most altitudes. So I think uh, for time being, uh, 270 and below have been the best ride going to the north, uh, northeast. Just let me know if you need to try something different. Okay, copy that. Thank you for uh, 3 Sierra Mike, and we're going up to flight level 250. At 9-11, the airplane deviates right away from the DAT waypoint. And within a minute, the pilot corrects the heading towards the blackjack transition. Over the next minute, the ground speed increases from 138 to 198 knots with a loss in altitude. Thirteen minutes into the flight, and at an altitude of 19,100 feet, the PC-12 enters into a tight, descending right spiral. Radar contact is lost at 9.14 p.m. Within 30 seconds, the PC-12 spirals through 8,000 feet of altitude before impacting the ground just west of Stagecoach, Nevada and north of Highway 50. Okay, I'm at back. Uh, three, sir, Mike Oakland. Medevac 3, Sierra Mike, Oakland. Medevac 3, Sierra Mike, Oakland. Medevac 3, Medevac 3 Sierra Mike, radar contact lost. Medevac 273, Sierra Mike, North Cal Bridge. Medevac 273, Sierra Mike, Oakland. Medevac 273, Sierra Mike, North Cal Bridge. Delta 1398, and we're trying to reach out with the Medevac 273 Sierra Mike. If I uh, just see if you can pick them up on frequency at all, I uh, was talking to him and I've lost him, not able to reach him, uh, at least not able to hear him at this time. Okay, that was uh, Medevac 273 Sierra Mike. Affirmative. This is uh, Delta 1398, transmitting on cars, trying to reach Medevac 273 Sierra Mike. How do you hear? Medivac 273 Sierra Mike, Delta 1398, transmitting on 128 decimal 8. How do you hear? Medivac 273 Sierra Mike, I do this transmission. Oakland Center is trying to reach on 128 decimal 8. We gave it to him on uh, guard as well as your frequency and up Delta 1398, uh, Roger, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. We'll keep listening. Thank you. Medevac 273, Sierra Mike on guard. Uh, Medevac uh, 273, Sierra Mike on guard. 717, I'd rather expect that. Uh, can you do me a favor and help you out? We're going to be looking for an aircraft, but uh, fighting the 010 for now and set to maintain 13000. 010, descend to 13000, southwest 1017. That's 1017. If you want to try on, uh, on frequency, uh, a Medevac. 273 Sierra Mike, we're looking for him. Uh, he was doing a rapid descent, so the south or the northeast of you, but we're trying to see if you see anything on the ground or if you uh, might be in contact with him uh, via air radio. Okay, 273 is Sierra Mike. Do you want me to call him? Southwest 1070. Yeah, if you could try on this frequency, Medevac 273 Sierra Mike. Uh, Medevac 273 Sierra Mike, uh, do you hear Southwest 1070? At Medevac 273 Sierra Mike, this is Southwest 1017. Uh, no joy. Medevac 10 or Southwest 1017, right? 
So send something to just be looking for any indication on the ground uh, about 1 o'clock at 10 miles. Uh, we haven't got any uh, any notification from him on the ground there or anything, but... Okay, we'll keep an eye out. Southwest 1017. Good evening, Oakland. Scout 5592, sign zero. No, 6590 Oakland Center, shouldn't be anything worse than let's up, uh, the lower the better. Um, opposite direction, there was a report of severe about 45 minutes ago at 300 descending into Reno. Um, in about 50 minutes in front of you, I'm not sure if it's still there. I haven't heard anything any more severe. All right, thank you. And also, Scott, 6590, if you could monitor a guard, we lost a, uh, we lost a contact on a medevac flight about five minutes in front of you. Uh, lost radar, they're not answering. Um, you can monitor guard and let me know if you hear an ELT. Uh, we lost radar contact about 50 miles southeast of the Mustang, the OR, southeast of Reno. So let me know if you, ha you hear anything. You'll be over the area where we lost radar contact at in about four to five minutes. Yeah, we got you. We have guard up and we'll let you know as soon as we hear anything. Thanks, guys. It's about okay, Thank you. In conclusion, this flight raises issues in relation to medical evacuation flights in IMC conditions. Not knowing the exact medical condition of the patient, it is difficult to appreciate the necessity for moving a patient between major medical centers in IMC conditions with reported icing and turbulence. Would the patient have been at risk waiting an extra 12 to 24 hours and subsequently flying in more favorable conditions? Why not minimize risk and enhance patient comfort with less stress in non-turbulent conditions? Would a two-pilot operation have had a different outcome? We will never know the answer to this question. The accident, however, sets a precedent for the consideration or mandating a two-pilot operation in stressful IMC conditions. And finally, I wonder about the pilot's thoughts preceding the decision to fly. The interplay between a go and a no-go situation always surfaces in bad weather. Unfortunately, the pressure to fly in the evening of February the 24th, 2023 was unknowingly the wrong decision. <laughs>